Okay. In regards to Italy, many of you may think that Caesar salad is one of its most famous dishes because you know in America, in most Italian restaurants, Caesar salad is everywhere. In fact, actually, Caesar salad, it's not even famous in Italy. Only a couple years ago, it became famous. Well, at least sold in a couple of restaurants. Most of you probably know what Italy actually is famous for. Um, not too many nations can say that their national dish has become an international phenomenon. Italy, in fact, has two of those dishes. Pizza and pasta. Lastly, gelato was originated in Italy, which is famous, but not quite as famous as pizza and pasta. I will explore how Italy became famous in bringing pizza, pasta, and gelato famous to the world. First, I will provide you with the background of how pizza came to be and the different ways it can be prepared into. Second, I will describe the different forms of pasta and what it means to Italy. Lastly, I will discuss the creation of gelato and the importance of having a dessert in one's country. Italy made pizza and the different variations it can be prepared into very famous. A Neapolitan style pizza was the very first pizza introduced. A Neapolitan pizza is basically bread, sauce, and some kinds of herbs that's put into an oven. But the very first form of pizza was the pizza marinara. The pizza marinara was, had extra virgin olive oil, tomatoes, oregano, and garlic. Local bakers sold this pizza to the poor from stands and shops. Also, local sailors who came into Italy bought the pizza and provided a lot of the money. And that occurred in Naples, Italy. Many of you may know the margarita pizza, but many of you may not know actually what it's from. It was named after Queen Margarita, the Queen of Italy, when she decided to attend a pizzeria in Naples. The local pizza maker at the time, Raffaella Esposito, wanted to impress the Queen. So he decided to create a brand new pizza to represent the new Italian flag with three colors. He used fresh mozzarella to represent the white, fresh tomatoes to represent the red, and fresh basil to represent the green. This was a brand new pizza and it became very famous and spread throughout Italy instantly and in years it spread throughout the world. Italy is also known for their fresh ingredients. The Indian water buffalo they used to create the freshest kind of mozzarella. Pizzerias in Italy won't even use the dried, shredded mozzarella that Americans use today. Because it's not fresh, not good, and let's, face, let's say just Italy likes their fresh food. Tomatoes also were seen as being very poisonous to many Europeans. It took many years until one person finally tried it and decided that would be good to be used in, on a pizza which created tomato sauce. As pizza is very well known, I will now explore pasta and all of its variations. Oh. Okay, sorry. So this is uh, the pizza margarita, um, which was created in Italy. Okay. Pasta became famous in Italy for its freshness and varieties. There are over 350 variations of pasta, with specifically five main types of pasta. There's long form, which is spaghetti-like pasta, which you could twist around a fork. It ranges from angel hair pasta, which is very thin, to thick-like pasta, which is bucatini. There's ribbon-like pasta, which is long form, but it's flat cut, which is like fettuccine, lasagna, and linguine. There's short form pasta, which has many tubular variations, which is elbows, penne, and manicotti. There's shaped pasta, which is bow ties, wagon wheels and corkscrews. But as you can see, there are many shapes, twists, and curls to pasta. So that's why there are so many different variations. There's, lastly, there's stuffed pasta, which is ravioli and tortellini. The different regions in Italy also prepare pasta differently. The southern areas use hard-boiled spaghetti, while the northern regions use soft egg noodles. So they use it based on the availability of ingredients as well, so that different pizzas are in different places in the country. Pasta is the most famous dish in Italy. The average person in Italy eats 60 pounds of pasta per year, compared to only 20 for average Americans. 
It is also eaten at most meals throughout the day. Italians eat many meals and create a lot of spaghetti, so they kind of carry it over from meal to meal. This is spaghetti-like pasta, which is long form, and that is what is very well known in Italy. While pizza and pasta are very famous, a country needs to be known for having a succulent dessert. Gelato is famous for sweetness, healthiness, and flavor. As you can see, this is gelato, and gelato is Italy's most famous dessert. Um, gelato is similar to ice cream, but it varies in that it is made with milk and skim milk rather than cream. Less milk fat allows the flavors of gelato to be enhanced greatly, and without the cream, it becomes a lot healthier. Also, there's less air whipped in the gelato, which creates it to be a lot denser, and sometimes people enjoy that more to eat. Now you have seen how Italy is so famous for its creations of different foods. In conclusion, we learned different pizza and the varieties it was created into. We discovered different forms of pasta and its importance. Lastly, we saw how Italy perfected its sweet ending to a meal with gelato. If you have fresh pasta, a pizza baked right out of the oven, or a scoop of gelato straight from a vendor, food elsewhere will never be the same compared to Italy. Thank you.